Hey folks, it's Mark Ludwig from the Allegan Conservation District. And I'm going to show you today how we measure residue coverage in the field and talk a little bit about why we really try to promote no-till and conservation tillage. Uh, we are, it is May 21st, 2013. We're out here in Fillmore Township, a very intensively farmed corner of our county. And we're out in a producer's field who's under contract with us to go to no-till. He's gone from conventional tillage, which the neighbor is still practicing, and we'll take a little walk over here. Sorry about the wind noise today, but it's West Michigan. It's always windy. So a conventional tillage, the farmer goes through and basically buries all the residue. You can see there's a little bit of bits and pieces from the crop last year still on the surface, but most of that's been tilled in. And that makes it easy to seed the fields, but the downside is it makes them very subject to erosion. Erosion is primarily caused by raindrops hitting the surface of the soil and breaking loose soil particles, which then can move into our waterways and cause us trouble, get us assessed from the drain commissioner, all kinds of stuff. No-till, on the other hand, is a system where by using a, a beefier, more advanced kind of seeder, we can actually get in here and seed right into the standing stubble from last year. You can see there's lots of coverage on this soil. So when a raindrop hits, it's going to impact on this crop residue or maybe even on this dead uh, chickweed. And because we don't bury that stuff, that's going to be there to protect the soil. It's also going to keep the soil mulched in the spring. Uh, the soil scientists tell us for every uh, tillage operation you basically lose an inch of water. And if we think about 2012, uh, how many of us would have really appreciated some extra inches of water? Kind of makes a lot of sense. Plus you don't spend all that diesel money on diesel fuel running around on your fields. Anyway, when we measure residue coverage to make sure our uh, farmers are complying with their contracts, what we do is we'll get out here, we'll get our 100 foot tape out, tape measure out, and then on each one foot mark, because we've got 100 data points out here, we assess whether or not that data point is touching a piece of residue. In this case, we're gonna touch that one right there. We'll take our little counter here, which I haven't reset yet, but if we were running along, we'd punch that as we go. So we'll walk down this whole tape Punched all in. We take five transects like this per sample. That gives us a plus or minus 15% uh, statistical significance or confidence or whatever you would call it. So, and that's basically it. It's pretty simple method, but it is actually surprisingly hard to just eyeball residue and say oh, it's this much coverage and da 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 da. This method gives us a little more. Uh, ability to hang some numbers off that and be a little more objective about what we're after. If you want more information on uh, no-till agriculture or want to talk to us at the Conservation District or at NRCS, come visit us in Allegan or just get online. Uh, I can really recommend the uh, No-Till Farmer Magazine's website. Most of their articles end up in that magazine, uh, in that website pretty quickly. Anyhow, Mark Ludwig, Allegan Conservation District. Thank you.